Hi, I'm Christina Schroeder, and I am so grateful for the way that the Lord has been growing and developing me and strengthening me in areas of belief, specifically in the area of healing. So I was diagnosed with my first autoimmune disease when I was 16 years old. I'm now 37, so we're about 20 years into the process of diagnostics, testing, treatments. And in the beginning, I wasn't mature enough to really understand all the emotions that were coming up in me when I was being told why my body is broken and why things, like this is how your body is broken, but we can't explain to you why it happens. It's just something that happens. And so I found myself pouring all of my energy into how I'm gonna fix it on my own because we didn't have any reason that it was existing in the first place. So especially in my 20s, my identity really got poured into, all right, fitness, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna outwork, I'm gonna train so hard that this body of mine can't be sick. And I was actually making my symptoms worse by doing these things. And then it became all about my nutrition. I'm gonna make a complete 180. I'm gonna change everything about my nutrition, every macro, micro, anything that comes into my body, I'm gonna control it. And that just led to a really high amount of anxiety. So then I got put on medication for anxiety, which was not great either. So then I got diagnosed with another condition and all of those feelings of diagnosis start pouring in of like, oh my goodness, I've been doing all of these things. I've been doing everything right. Why is my body breaking down, shutting down? And again, I was going to church through all of this, but I had no understanding of what bringing this to the cross really meant or really looked like. So I would casually ask people sometimes for prayer, but usually I didn't tell anyone about the fact that I was sick because I wanted to be the person that was the fitness and nutrition coach um, or the person that was really successful at work because she was just pouring it all. She was the yes man. She would do anything, everything that you asked her to do because I was hiding the shame of this disease that was in my body that I didn't understand. So fast forward the past year, I've been diagnosed with two additional conditions. So I'm just racking up autoimmune diseases, it feels like uh, at this point. And what is so different about this past year versus all of the years before is that when someone said, take this to the cross, leave this at his feet, I did. Second Corinthians three verses four and five come to mind where it's saying like, I know all of this, not because of who I am. It has nothing to do with my qualifications and 100% because I know who the Lord is. And I've seen the Lord show up for me every step of the way through diagnosis. And I can look back and see where he was with me where in the times that I was convinced I was alone. But especially in this past year, whether it was an anesthesiologist saying, hey, I really want to pray for you. Is that okay? Uh, when I was nervous about to go into a procedure or a hematologist saying, hey, listen, I'm, I'm a believer. And he just broke the ice with that. And it was so crazy because that wasn't something that I was expecting him to do or a surgeon that came in after the procedure and said, I don't know why I'm telling you this because you're going to get a lot of results back, but I want to let you know X, Y, Z. That just gave me reassurance every step of the way, a piece that makes no sense. And so there were a couple of things that I learned, especially to deepen this belief in this, in, especially around healing is one is it's not in my control. The Lord is, is in control. He is my healer. Two is that He's blessed us with discernment, whether it's people around me, doctors that I can trust, or my husband's leadership of our family and discernment around, do I proceed with this treatment? Do I delay this treatment? Or do I say no to this treatment? And the last thing is, is when it comes to peace, that makes no sense. It's such a blessing from the Lord. And I'm so incredibly grateful for it because this belief, this peace, this completeness in a time when everyone's telling me why my body is so broken really is life or death for me. So if you need hope today, if you're battling something that you feel really shameful about that you can't explain and you don't understand, just know that when you lay that as, at his feet and you take away, take yourself out of the equation and let him take control, that you will have this an unimaginable amount of freedom in those moments.